How is everyone? Happy Wednesday. Yes, it is. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Yes, happy Happy Wednesday. hump day. Yes, it is. That's it. <laughs> How is everyone today? I'm Lisa. I'm Gary. And we are going to give you a Ventura County real estate market update here. numbers are coming out from last year and it is you know depending on who you ask <laughs> how are the numbers lisa's favorite show the statistics oh yes you know I, I like the uh how to yes hold on a second i'm gonna try and get it so i can see comments here um so depending on who you ask and who's counting the numbers you know they're never the same because seems like numbers can be Whatever you want them to be. Yes. But pull here's down, here's pull a, down the blinds. What do you want them to be? <laughs> here's a couple of uh, different uh, roundups from last year. So I know the headlines are crazy. Do not listen to the headlines. Follow the trend lines. That's one of the best things we've heard this week, and yeah. it couldn't be more true. Yeah, and I think if you read the headlines and you read the article, they don't match the headlines because what they're looking for is clicks. They want people to look at their articles. They want them to click on the headline. Yeah, so it says like here, the first one says that the listings, now the reason that the sales are down is the inventory's down. So you can't have sold properties without inventory coming on the market. So the biggest challenge the market has right now is inventory. So it is still a seller's market. Uh, one thing we're seeing a change is first time home buyers coming back into the market uh, in droves. We have a story to tell you about that. You wanna tell the story? Yes, over the weekend, open house, Saturday and Sunday, there were about 150 people through there, six offers on Monday. So that's what's happening. That property was in Ventura, so that tells you how the market is. There are a lot more buyers actively out in the market than there are properties to shop for. Um, in the over you know, 2 million market on the hillside-ish, uh, there's only five houses for sale. So if you're looking for property on the hillside in Ventura, you only have five options at the moment. Yeah, if you're looking at properties, let's say in Camarillo, and you're looking above two million, there's three properties above two million in Camarillo. Mm -hmm. So the days on market on those tend to be a little bit more. Uh, the lower you go on days on market, uh, excuse me, the lower you go on price, the shorter the days on market are, because they were getting really quick the last couple of years. Days on market, it is up slightly. The average days on market for December was 51 and year to date in 2022 was 32. So in one month they were selling. Um, new lid listings down 38% or if you look at this one, they rounded it up to 40% uh, year over year 21 to 22. And we're in 23. And we're in 23. <laughs> so yes, the new lit listings are down, which makes the sold listing n uh, number go down. And that's what the headlines are just grabbing onto. Well, I think there was so much movement um, that now that people that have been waiting for whatever they want, right? Because you remember all the D's, the reasons people move, death, divorce, debt, um, diapers, all the reasons people move are still <laughs> happening. <laughs> yes, and will continue to happen. Yes. Um, so average sold price in, this is all Ventura uh, County, is still over a million dollars. It is one one two eight, so one million one hundred twenty eight thousand, which you know, big number on the average sold price. <laughs> I ran uh, how many properties are for sale, and we've got sixty two for sale in Ventura, seventy one in Camarillo, ninety three in Oxnard, and eighty five in Thousand Oaks. I mean that is just not very many properties in Ventura. A normal balanced market they like to call it is around 150 properties per sale. So we are less than half of that. Yeah, I would say 150 to 200. Yeah, so we are nowhere near that um, at the moment. So if you are thinking about selling, we of course anticipate spring market that people will be getting their houses ready and getting them on the market. So if you are thinking about doing that, you have an investment property, you inherited a property, you want to sell your primary home, um, now is the time to start talking and really frankly to beat the spring rush because right now you put your home on the market You are the only game in town. That's right. A lot of people especially the sellers people already in their house That have low interest mortgages are in hunker down mode I mean if they were to sell then they're going to be looking at buying a property probably 
for a lot more money just based on the way the interest rates are. But the interest rates have come down a point in the last three weeks. So it's basically down from 7% down to 6%. Huge move. Mm -hmm. Yep. So property sold over the asking price in December of 22, 18%. It says the months of inventory in Ventura County, 1.6 months of inventory is all we have. Again, they say four to six months is a balanced mar uh, market. So clearly tipping in the seller's market side still. So when yeah. it's a seller's market, what happens? You have fewer homes to choose from, less negotiating <laughs> power, need to be able to close, can spend more than asking, and you have competition from buyers. Well, that's a good thing if you're a seller. Um, but we are seeing repairs being done, uh, credits being given, things like that that we have not seen in a couple of years so that the buyers can get in and sometimes buy down some closing costs, buy down their rate. Um, they're working together, buyers and sellers. Yep, and if you look at some interesting numbers, the interesting numbers are price reduction as a seller versus buying down somebody's mortgage. I mean, for the same price reduction, if you bought down somebody's mortgage, using the same numbers, they can be calculated a lot of different ways. It saves six, seven, eight hundred, maybe even a thousand a month to the buyer. So definitely if you're a seller, be looking at buying down the buyer's interest rate versus reducing the price on your home. Like the, like they like to say, price improvements. Right. So if you have any questions about buying or selling real estate, you know, that's what we do. That's what we love to talk about. <laughs> exactly. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. <laughs>